what's happening? What's happening, my peoples? It's your boy N O R E K. Nor Total Access. We back with another one. Forgive the shaking. I'm on the freeway. Just got back from uh, restocking the vending machines. I have to say, it's looking pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. Let me show y'all how good it's looking. It's looking pretty good. Life of a vending machine owner. To all my vending machines owners out there, salute to y'all, man. It's a mixture of dollars and fives and so on and so forth. Like I said, we got several vending machines at different locations. Um, and growing, and growing, rapidly growing, you know? Um, yeah, so not to floss a high sign on nobody, but again, this is, this is encouragement more than anything. Like if you got a business idea, if you have a, if you have a business, push it, man, push it and support each other. That's key, support each other. Stop with all the hatred, stop with all the, 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 the malice and you know just like like Kwame said man it's, it's like it depends on who we like that's who we support speaking of Kwame I was on his panel this morning I got to redo that video that I uploaded because I couldn't hear myself my audio for some reason I was screen recording it hoping that I could get it but I was able to hear the, hear him and the rest of the guys on the panel salute to you salute to you Kwame salute to the other brother that was on there, and I think the other brother's name was Bean Frank. Bean, ben Frank. Salute to you, my brother. Um, keep doing your thing, man. Keep pushing that positivity. A lot of knowledge, a lot of a lot of wisdom was um, was on that panel today. A lot, man and woman. Salute to the whole panel. Salute to we the people. Keep keep doing what you're doing. But to reiterate what I was trying to say on there, and again, I'm gonna upload it once I get home. I'm gonna of my laptop, you know, because Kwame allows us to use his content, which is not my content because I was included on the page. More total access, baby. We're gaining some traction. I told y'all. I told y'all. Stick to it, baby. Consistency is key. You understand me? But to reiterate what I was trying to say to the brothers was, and the sisters, to the panel itself, um, oftentimes, we start talking about voting. It's like Super Bowl. We start talking about a lot of people don't watch football until it's Super Bowl. They, they don't have a team until it's, it's playoff time and stuff like that, right? To each its own. But when it comes to voting and when it comes to uh, laws being passed and bills being passed and so on and so forth, in our community, we have to be more engaged. We have to be more hands-on. We got to get out there and rub elbows with certain elect, um, elected officials or ones that's trying to get elected because we sit back and we complain about oh well this happened over here why is the Asians getting so much help when black people like as far as we know there's systemic racism that that that's a gap that's a given we know that but the thing about the thing about systemic racism which allows it to stay in place more than anything is the fact that on a on a lower on a lower scale we don't get out and participate. Like I was saying, the aldermen in these, in some of these uh, cities and counties, the the Senate, the local judge, the local sheriff, these are things that we don't necessarily get out there and vote for. Our grandparents may do it, and you know the older the older people, some of them don't even do it. But when it comes to the presidency, who's going to be the president? Everybody want to run out and put they put their vote in. Oh, I'm gonna vote for this one, vote for that one, which is fine. But don't sit back and complain when your community now, what used to be a recreational center, recreation center for the kids and for the youth to go, you know, have a skate park, a basketball court, swimming, this and when that gets shut down and turn into a high rise or something. Because in their mind, they're thinking about profit. They're not thinking about loss. The the, the park is a it's it's a it's a um, what you call it, uh, uh um, it's, it's non-profitable basically so it's a non-profit type of organization they, they feel like they're kicking out money to keep this park operation they got to pay somebody to come through the line pay some, they got to make sure the water if there's water in there, the bathroom stay up to a certain code different things like that if there's cracks in the cement they have to pay you know employees these are people that have to come out and fix these things yes it's a tax write-off and so on and so forth for whoever is doing that however if 
we're not involved firsthand. We see these posters, these advertisements, these signs of people running for uh, local offices all day, every day. You, you drive by any city, anywhere, you're going to see a sign. Let's just use Keisha Campbell or Keisha Morris or somebody. Let's use that, let's use that name. You see a, a sister on the, on, the, on the sign saying, vote for Keisha, vote, you know, da 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 yeah, that looks good to us. That makes us feel good internally. But do we do our part and go our due diligence and, 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 and find out the information? How can I, you know, rub elbows with this sister? And, and sometimes you have to be selfish in it. You have to be selfish sometimes. You know, it, it don't mean that you don't care about nobody else. But if you have a business, a small business, a big business, whatever, if you're a business type person and this sister, this brother, whoever's running for this certain position for uh, a local judge, for um, uh, some kind of finance over over Chase Bank or so, whatever the case may be, and we don't get out there and vote, and then when we go into these establishments and these corporations, and we don't get the service that we feel like we are deserved, like we are deserving of, we got nobody to really blame but ourselves because we didn't take that. We didn't do our due diligence. We didn't go out there and we didn't go vote for Keisha. We didn't go out there and vote for Mark. We didn't go out there and vote for Jamal. So in us not voting at all, we thinking that, oh, well, I, I'm not voting either way. No, you're hurting us. You're hurting. If you're in a position to vote, go out there and vote. I know so many of us, people my age, my peers, that, that can care less about this until it affects them. See, a lot of us, it's like cancer. A lot of us don't acknowledge it until it hits home. Let that sink in. A lot of us don't acknowledge it until it hits home, until it affects your home base, your immediate family. That's when it's, oh, it's the, you know, no. Come on, we gotta band together before it get to that point. If it's already at that point, we gotta band together and undo what they've, what they've done. We the people, we have the power. You guys understand that when they use these tricky words like minority, when they say, oh, they got they passed a bill for minorities to get um, all these grants and this and that, they, don't, they ain't talking about black folks. They're not specifying black folks. That's why you see to this day on every panel, Breakfast Club, on every thing that you can think of that these guys went on that was running for this office, the presidential office and vice presidential office and so on and so forth. When they ask them about a black agenda, no one can specify. Reason being, there is no black agenda. They use the word minority, minority. Minority don't mean black. Minority can mean Asian. Minority can mean Hispanic. Minority can, and it, and it oftentimes do, mean Asian, Hispanic, even Russian. You come from anywhere else. You, you, look in your, you look in your neighborhood right now, you drive down to any corner store, any gas station, any and you see who's in there. You see who owns it. Liquor stores, especially liquor stores. It's, 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 it's amazing to me that we we use and we, we, we abuse the most products as far as like when it comes to liquor stores, when it comes to, because we, we always want to drive a fancy car. So even gas stations, um, hair, hair salon, nail salons, even beauty salon, right? Where you go get, where the women go get their little hairs and their little accessories and whatever. We don't own that. And the ones that we do own is far and few. I lived in Texas for three years. And the whole time I was out there, this was in Austin, Texas. I found one black beauty supply and I made it my point to go support that black beauty supply when I found it. And I, I, I was only looking for it because my daughter was, my daughter was with me at the time. My daughter was with me at the time. And she brought it to my attention she's like she needed to go get some some supplies from the beauty supply store so she's like dad there's no black beauty supply out here I'm like baby i don't know i don't go to the beauty supply store so we started looking up black beauty supplies it was a nice little drive about a 30 minute drive from where we live but again those are the those are the things that we should be supporting when we go into these establishments that's black owned we we, we want to haggle the prices but you go into the liquor store uh, white dude or, or, or Arab or you know somebody else charge you seventy five dollars for a bottle that normally costs thirty five dollars over here. You 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 don't have no problem paying that because you want to feel like you bossing up. Think, think. We got to do our part, man. Charity starts at home. Support your own people. 
support yourself. Bet on yourself at all costs, man. You get out there and do it. It don't matter what your homeboys think, what your mama think, what your sister think. Like, bro, if you feel strongly enough about something, get out there and make it happen. Get out there and rub elbows with these local officials. Like I said, you you get out there and pass out your business cards. Just like Kwame is doing, uh, supporting the small businesses and actually showing the small businesses on his platform. Like, he don't have to do that. That man can be charging every last one of y'all a fee. That is absolutely, that's great promotion. You know who this man is? Number one draft pick. It don't matter that people call him a bust. It don't matter. He played in the NBA. The people that's calling him a bust, did they play in the NBA? Come on, man. All I'm saying is support, support your local. Support the local stuff. Find out who's doing what in your community and stop complaining about it. Real talk, true story, man. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to share this, man. Again, man, we got a little traction going. We're going to keep burning this highway up. We're going to do what we do. Salute. Blah, blah, blah.